Former Guam resident Rowena Conlu and Bay Area's Chirito Soriano, their passion for music went beyond just playing in front of a crowd. They believed that music was a universal language that could bridge people together and empower. Two talented musicians that were brought together by fate to form Astrologic. Conlu, who had fell back into music after taking a five-year hiatus to work as an engineer for NASA, recalls the first time she heard Soriano sing. I was working on some tunes and she came in and started singing and I was blown away. Let go of madness, let go of all the evils holding me down. When I met her, our music became, it just started soaring. Fast forward three years. Soriano says her vocals have a neo-soul jazz feel and combine that with Conley's eclectic sound with influences from Jimi Hendrix to Bob Marley and makes for a harmonious mashup. It's definitely soulful on both ends. Um, it does have a, a lot of island feel because I feel like, you know, she's an instrumentalist and, and her roots is here in Guam, so she has just a lot of the island feel really ingrained. Um, uh, but it's, it's really hard to say what we are because every song that we have is so different. Um, but I think one thing that ties everything together is, is the, the content that we have in the music is always on a positive vibration. The duo took their positive vibe and sound and performed in bars, coffee shops and festivals with hopes of raising enough funds for a very special and important mission as part of Soul Society's Bridge Program. Soul Society is a non-profit organization full of visual artists, from dancers to graffiti artists, and of course, musicians who want to give back to the community. The nonprofit's mission is to enrich the lives of individuals and to promote physical, mental, and emotional growth and well-being. They develop creativity and leadership that's inside. Soriano, who has family in Dedido and Jigo, and Kunlu, who was last here over 16 years ago, are on island for a few days after their life-changing overseas mission in the Philippines and sat down to tell us more about their journey. To begin, the two, along with a handful of other organization members, made their way to the Philippines. We stayed in Batangas. Um, we waited for um, one of our, our mentors that flew in from Japan, Tommy Lee Guns. From there by boat, they made their way to Mindoro, where they stayed for five days. That was our first elementary school that we went to, and the high school's actually behind the elementary school. So we taught a bunch of workshops, and um, she, um, Trito, actually headed the, the dental hygiene program at, um, that we had, and there was like thousands of kids that wait, were waiting to like, for something and so eager to learn. We flew into Negros um, Oriental, uh, Dumaguete, and we stayed there for a couple of days in a tree house, literally. Then the group took a speedboat to Bohol, an area that suffered devastation from an earthquake as well as the effects of Super Typhoon Yolanda. We donated school supplies, dental hygiene supplies, uh, we've donated computers because uh, a lot of the kids there uh, don't have access to computers and in a lot of the competitive jobs that would help get them out of poverty, they need to have those computer skills. So we donated like old IBM computers, but they're gold for them. We went to a couple of schools. Um, there was some walls that were broken down, classroom you know, ceilings messed up, and um, the money that we helped fundraise um, went to rebuilding those schools. Efforts paid off as they were able to assist four schools and rebuild the spirits of many of the school children. It was so beautiful because um, Filipinos are so resilient. You see, by incorporating creativity with service, youth are given innovative ways to give back to their community while learning important life lessons such as service, responsibility, and compassion. We feel like music is such a powerful tool in moving you know, worlds, moving you know, people, um, and motivating, inspiring, whatnot. So we try our best to really keep the focus in a positive direction because it's really needed everywhere. The duo, as Astrologic, will return to the Bay Area and continue with their music and their efforts with society and other worthwhile projects. Plant seeds, water them, give them light, watch them grow. To find out more about the duo and their musical journey, log on to www.astrologic.com. That's A-S-T-R-A-L-O-G-I-K.
To learn more about the amazing work Soul Society does and read up on some incredible blogs chronicling their Philippine mission, head over to soulciety.org. That's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-Y.